what separates me from a lot of people is they go into an, a daunting task, and the task is overwhelming. Seven, two, two, two. And I heard the pull-up record was 4,020 pull-ups, and I was talking about breaking this record. People are like, oh my god. I went right to a pen and paper, and what are you doing? I'm doing the math, man. I'm doing the math, man. What are you talking about? I'm doing the math, man. I'm open minded to the fact that, okay, if I do five pull ups in a minute for so many hours, I can get so many pull ups in. How much time do I have to rest? I was breaking the math down. You have to be open minded to the possibilities that I can do this. Workout, by the way. Once you shut your mind down to the possibility that it can be achieved, there's no way it can happen. So that's why my eyes and my body light up about things, because I know that if you're in a fight, you have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul, whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is whatever the fuck is whatever the fuck is in front of you. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul, whatever the fuck is in front of you. That's what I realized. I was never breaking the soul of anything in front of me. So that's why I came up with this thing called taking souls. I started to devise ways to break a soul of a human being, of an object, of whatever's in front of me. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless. Nothing. That's when a lot of stuff started clicking, man. I started watching those instructors on the side. They've been there, done that. Now they're instructing you. They have their parkas on, excuse me, cold coffee, drinking their coffee, and they're beating the crap out of us. And when I started realizing, I started playing mind games, and I was like, you know what? I bet these fuckers are looking at us, judging themselves about when they were going through hell with God. I got my Boku. It's Wednesday and everybody's broken, everybody's beat up, man, and everybody's like just kind of just trying to get through hell with now. And they tell you how you're supposed to feel. So you are feeling that way. I was like, uh, don't let these motherfuckers tell you how you're supposed to feel. No, it's day one, motherfucker. This is our one. So I was getting my Boku all jacked up. I said, we're gonna take these motherfuckers so. So they had us doing this simple thing that guys are struggling with. Boku 2 is just lost in the fucking boat and you're yelling, yeah, you can't fucking hurt us, can't hurt Boku 2. And I looked on the instructor's faces and it looked like someone had just fucked with their soul. And I looked at my guy in the boat and I said, hey, guess what? Those motherfuckers aren't fucking tonight. We own space in their fucking head. We own space, they're gonna think about us tonight. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. He must break the soul, whatever the fuck is in front of him. Whatever the fuck is in front of him. Whatever the fuck is in front of him. Whatever the fuck is whatever the fuck is whatever the fuck is in front of him. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. He must break the soul, whatever the fuck is in front of him. And we start fueling off of that. We start fueling off the fact that, man, it takes one second of energy to steal everybody's and then you have all the energy you need that's all you need you need to look at someone's eyes you know how it is when you fight somebody and you broke that motherfucker he's like oh god man i don't want to go back the next round and you feel like my god i can fight all day that's what taking souls is but you have to have the will the heart the courage to go that distance when you're exactly jacked up. We have nothing left to give. And give more. You know how you get that fight or flight response when you get to move real quick? I started learning the mind a lot how to get myself jacked extremely fast in a horrible environment when everybody's miserable. I learned how to really find strength in the misery. This is where I shine. And I started using all that misery for tons and tons of tons of drive and motivation to then lead people further. Because you can get a lot of power through misery. 
And when people see that my God Goggins is fucking going, then everybody says, Roger that. I started realizing that if you can just find strength just a little bit longer, you will have a crew of people following you along the way. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul, whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is whatever the fuck is whatever the fuck is in front of you. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul, whatever the fuck is in front of you. You have to take great pleasure in the fact that no one wants to be where the fuck you're at right now. Great pleasure, man. They have to bring a passion out of you. It has to bring something very, very weird out of you, man. Like, you know, people don't really understand what that is. When you're in the worst environment possible, the worst situation possible, and everybody's looking like, God, man, I hope this ends. And you see that. Time slows down and you see that. You're you're feeling that. Everybody has that look on their face like, God, this guy. This is where I shine. This is where I shine.